women into combat. Women into combat. Women in combat. Giving women in a combat role. Opened its notoriously tough infantry officer course to women. Into their infantry officer school. Fifteen women have tried and failed. Twenty women have gone before her. Twenty-six have failed out of this course. Which until now has been entirely a man's arena. For the last 40 years, the Marine Corps has trained its infantry officers at a secretive and rigorous school called Infantry Officer Course. The school only selects the most physically and mentally fit officers for duty as infantry platoon commanders and has a reputation for breaking even the toughest of the Corps' new lieutenants. Traditionally, the school has been a boys' club for Marine officers, but all that changed in 2013 when, at the urging of Congress, the Marine Corps began allowing women to attend the course. Since 2013, 26 women have attended the course, and not one of them has survived longer than two weeks. Most of the women who have attended were dropped on day one, reinforcing the course's challenging nature. Proponents of the inclusion had lost hope. Until just last week, when one woman made it all the way through till the very end, and did so with flying colors. Second Lieutenant Curtis, a strong and physically intimidating lieutenant, is the first woman to make it through the challenging school. But there's more to this lieutenant than meets the eye. Second Lieutenant Curtis, the first female to graduate infantry officer course, is currently on legal hold, pending investigation for lying about her penis for the duration of her time in the Marine Corps. Lieutenant Curtis declined to comment. According to investigators, the first female to graduate the school was discovered to have a penis by one of her peers. I had the chance to sit down with the peer that made the discovery. He was more than willing to comment on record. Here's the thing. I've been trying to fuck her since, like, TBS. Er, him. I mean, the whole time, I figured she was just playing hard to get. Because everybody knows what gives you down to fuck. So now we're in IOC and we graduate. It's our graduation party. Everybody shit can. And she outdrank everybody. He. I don't know everybody. We sneak away from the party. And we get to my barracks room. So I make entry first. She comes in behind me. Locks the door. I hear it. And before I even turn around, her tongue's down my fucking throat. Right? So now we're having fun. Right? We're making out for like not even 30 seconds. All hot and heavy. Straight licking face. And uh, she goes straight for the dick. And I'm like, game fucking on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't sure before. Now I don't know. And this is why I love whoops. So, game's on. And I'm trying to get her fucking pants off, right? And I'm fucking trying to get that fucking belt buckle off. And she's trying to get mine off. And in, I mean, a fucking blink of an eye, my, my pants are around my ankles. I'm butt-ass naked, fucking dick out, full mass, dripping on myself. Because I know I'm like seconds away from fucking the most solid piece of Wookiee fucking pussy the core has ever seen. Right? I mean, I fucked a lot of Wookiee pussy. But this is the first Wookiee pussy to get through I.O. motherfucking C. I mean, most dudes don't get through this shit. You know? And then I'm like struggling to get her fucking pants off. Finally, I get the belt undone, then I get a button undone, a button undone. I slip my hands on her ass. I yank those pants down. As these solid ass legs, I mean, a full motherfucking muscle, you know. And I like these muscle legs. I look up, and there's this big fucking dick. And this thing is swinging at me like a motherfucking wrecking ball. Like straight out of a fucking Indiana Jones and shit. Just come right at me. Fucking dodge. I mean, if I didn't dodge that shit, I'd have fucking had a goddamn black eye, broken nose, motherfucking TBI, fucking mushroom stamp. Who the fuck knows? I mean, I literally had a patio flashback. It's that fucking big.
most of Lieutenant Curtis's peers were indifferent to the news. One unnamed peer was willing to comment. So what's your opinion of Lieutenant Curtis? Well, Lieutenant Curtis is kind of a badass. I mean, at no point did I ever actually look at her like she was a woman. I mean, she's just that solid. And, you know, it actually came as no surprise to me that she had a penis. And as you can imagine, a lot of us wanted to know what it was like. So when I asked O'Malley, he said it was kind of like a stack of tuna cans, very veiny, a very veiny stack of tuna cans. I had the chance to sit down with the CO of the Secretive Infantry Officer Course. He was astonished by the news. How it got through officer candidate school without that big dick flopping around during last minute PT showers is a mystery to me. I mean, that kind of deception has got to be worth at least a nam. That thing fooled MEPS, OCS, TBS, and hell, it would have fooled all of us if that O'Malley wasn't such a damn horn dog. Lieutenant O'Malley reached back out to us for comment. Look, I just want to say on record, that was pretty much the biggest fucking dig I ever seen in my life. And, hey, not to sound fucking gay or anything, but when you spend 11 years in the infantry, you see a lot of fucking dicks, okay? That, that, I mean, a lot of dicks. All right, thank you, ma'am. There's still speculation amongst investigators as to whether Lieutenant Curtis is a man or just a woman with a penis. I asked the school CO his thoughts on Lieutenant Curtis's gender. You man a hermaphrodite? Fuck no. That thing's a man. Look, there's a reason why 26 of the most physically fit women in the Marine Corps have failed out of this course. That reason is simple. When you put 120 pounds on the back of a woman, she crumbles like a fucking crouton. I hate to see him go, but after all this bullshit, there's no way he could stand in front of a grunt platoon. Damn shame if you ask me. Big dick, though. Questions have been raised as to how this deception was able to continue for so long. Some members of Congress are questioning the Marine Corps' ability to police their own. The Commandant's office could not be reached for comment. This is Tiffany Rivers signing off for Frontline News. Thank you.